Now, with great pleasure, we welcome Distinguished House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer. He's going to talk about the Biden scandals. Welcome back, Mr. Chairman. You're wonderful to be so accessible. I just before we get to the Biden stuff, uh, your thoughts on today's Supreme Court decision. I'm very pleased with the Supreme Court decision. This ends reverse discrimination, which yes. is what I've always called it. Uh, and I think this shows to people elections matter. We have a conservative constitutional Supreme Court now because we had a President Donald Trump who nominated three good conservative judges to the bench. So this was a win for fairness, win for the Constitution today. You know, Jamie, Ro <laughs> Joe Biden always talks about um, democracy. Mm -hmm. And he was MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. They're all undermining democracy. Of course, it's attack on Trump. I get that. Uh, today, he attacks the Supreme Court, which I would regard at least not a democracy-oriented attack. The court is the court. Uh, nominated by a president, uh, voted upon by a Senate mm -hmm. and into law. I mean, that is democracy at work, but he won't accept it. He won't accept it if it doesn't go his way. Yeah. He thinks he's above oversight. He thinks he's above checks and balances. He thinks he can rule by executive order. And obviously he can't. And uh, thank goodness we have three branches of government and good for the Supreme Court. Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, thank you for all that. Um, let me go back into the Biden scandals now. So much has been happening uh, almost at warp speed. And you have been right in the middle of it. You have broken a lot of barriers, particularly how you've broken barriers through the FBI, which I think is quite remarkable. Now, uh, as I understand it, you are going to be uh, re-engaging in the search for these Treasury suspicious right. bank accounts, which you believe are going to continue to tell a very important and difficult story for father and son Biden. Can you please expand on that? Absolutely. Uh, we went through a battle for several months with Janet Yellen to have access to the suspicious activity reports on the Biden family. These are the bank violations that the bank reported potential criminal activity to the Treasury Department. Uh, the Biden family had over 150 of these, which that alone is, is a red flag. Uh, the Treasury Secretary and the media and the Democrats said, you don't need them, you won't be able to find anything. Well, this is what we found with those suspicious activity reports, spending two weeks in Treasury going over those. We found there were more bank accounts, more shell companies and more Bidens who were involved mm -hmm. in the money laundering uh, scheme to extract money from foreign nationals. We also found a new country, Romania, mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that those payments were made to Biden family members while Joe Biden was vice president. So it was a very productive trip to Treasury. Now we're going back in lieu of the new evidence for with the FBI Form 1023 mm -hmm. that alleges Joe Biden took a bribe from a Ukrainian oligarch. We are now requesting from Janet Yellen access to all the suspicious activity reports, which are the bank violations, for anyone pertaining to Burisma. And we've listed several names of people that were on the Burisma board. We want to have access to these because we want to try to start putting together the pieces to determine uh, whether or not Joe Biden did, in fact, accept a bribe from Ukraine. Um, we know, I think, from evidence so far that the money transferred from China, this uh, guy from the Chinese intelligence right. uh, community, Communist Party community, um, do you think that, in fact, the whistleblower made it clear that father and son were there when son Hunter went off on his rage at these Ch China guys. I think his name was Zhao. You yeah. think that's well established now? Well, I, I, Joe Biden is trying to walk right. away from it. That's why. Right. Well, I think at the end of the day, our investigations will prove Joe Biden was very involved in the whole influence peddling scheme, uh, which should be concerning to every American because this puts him in a compromised situation, especially with China. But, uh, whether or not Joe Biden was with his son or not, his son invoked his name. But here's the important part. Days after that threatening message was sent from Hunter Biden to the representative of the Chinese Communist Party, a substantial wire was transferred from the Chinese Communist Party to the Biden family. Five million bucks. Five million dollars. So that shows that, uh, that this was a, a, a family enterprise mm -hmm. and that they had to use strong arm tactics mm -hmm. and threats. And, and I think that, uh, you know, China could do that to Joe Biden any day. 
in, in office. They, they could say, well, you know, we could send documents to the House Oversight Committee that shows you were on the take for years. That would put Joe Biden in a compromised situation. That would lead to strange decisions Joe Biden would make that would put America last and China first in an energy policy. Mm -hmm. That would, that would uh, open doors for entry for China to invest in more industries in America. Just the exact things that Joe Biden's doing while he's president. So uh, this investigation is of the utmost port importance for our national security. And every day we uncover more information that would implicate Joe Biden was front and center in this terrible influence peddling scheme or even worse, bribery. Yeah, well, it looks like racketeering and bribery, but I want, I want to go through it. Um... Checks showing Romania. Can you just add that? The poor Romanians don't get enough credit here right. for, for their law breaking. What can you tell us about Romania? Well, he went to Romania just like he did Ukraine, and he talked about foreign policy and he had foreign aid. And a few days after he left Romania, then payments started mysteriously happening from a Romanian foreign national into the Biden shell companies mm. that were then laundered down. For very, what services, sir? We don't what know. Exactly. We don't know. What was the service? That's a great what question. <laughs> I wish you were a White House reporter. <laughs> now, they started asking Jean Pierre these questions, yeah. and she won't answer the question. So, just money started flowing into these multiple LLCs from Romania? From, 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 from an Romania, oligarch in Romania? or From a foreign national. Foreign I don't national. think he would be, by definition, an oligarch. All right. I don't think but a Romania shady character. A, a shady character that's been investigated for fraud. Now, that's from the bank accounts, the suspicious bank accounts. Absolutely. Okay, so that's really important. Now, let's go to Burisma. All right. All right. Have you seen suspicious bank accounts, I'm calling, uh, from Burisma? Back and forth yeah. between the multiple Biden LLCs. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just racketeering <laughs> right. at the word. And Burisma. We haven't. We, we've been blocked. You from have, getting, have not. We, we have not right. yet because we've been blocked from access to anything Burisma related oh. because the Democrats had, had labeled this as Russian disinformation as a Rudy Giuliani scarier tactic that wasn't true. Well, now with the FBI form that, remember, the FBI denied existed for a long time, but we finally got access to it. This shows a pattern that's consistent with what we saw in Romania. Now we're able to successfully subpoena bank records pertaining to Ukrainian transactions? From the Treasury. Well, the bank records will be from banks, but the Treasury will have the bank violations. So there's the bank violations and the bank records. Oh. We're going after both. Huh. And, and both complement each other because the bank violations help us find more mm -hmm. bank accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't underestimate or imagine how many different bank accounts the Bidens had. Yeah. And, and that was in the FBI form where the oligarch bragged and said that investigators would take 10 years to find all the different transactions because we use so many different banks. That's what we've already found in China and Romania, and I believe we can find it in Ukraine now. So now we have ammunition because of the FBI form to gain access to Treasury for those bank violations pertaining to Burisma, as well as new bank statements. Or you'll subpoena Treasury people? We'll do whatever we'll we do have whatever to do, but I, I'm pretty confident they're going to let us in there. My favorite bank account was Malta. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you must have friends that have checking accounts in Malta, no, sir. I, I, no, I do not. Those oh. are a little harder to get. I don't, I don't, right. I don't think... The I offshore do ones are, are very challenging. I was terribly interested in Malta. It's a lovely place. All right, I'm sorry for my wise-ass humor. Now, about this Burisma oligarch who's on the lam someplace and may or may not have these telephone tapes, um, friends of mine have said to me, well, he's not in Ukraine. He's going to be out there. He's got money. Uh, some people have said he's going to be in the gambling casino at Montenegro or someplace <laughs> in Eastern Europe right out of Casino Royale. But in all seriousness, what's the next step uh, tracking down the oligarch and his telephone tapes, two of which were to Vice President Biden, mm -hmm. the other 15 to son Hunter? Well, we have him and he has a relative that we believe uh, oh. may have possession of some tapes as well. Mm -hmm. We believe that he uh, duplicated the tapes. Mm -hmm. So... We're trying to gain access to those. That's going to be a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, our investigation is centered around, our expertise is centered around bank statements and bank records. Yes. So if we can find the mysterious transactions coming from Ukraine, I think that's a pretty good indication that that FBI allegation w was true. Uh, we have advi informants and, and tipsters who have led us to different accounts that, that may contain some of this Ukrainian money. Everything that we subpoenaed thus far, we knew exactly what we were getting.
You have investigators over we in do. We East, don't have any, Eastern Europe no, looking for this guy? No we, no, we do not. I wish we did. If, if, if we had the budget to do it, we would. But uh, we have a good staff that has the expertise to put together all these bank statements. And, you know, with the subpoenas, it, in the past, Congress would issue subpoenas just so they could go on TV and say, I issued a subpoena. But nothing would ever happen. The January 6th committee did that. They subpoenaed half the people in the Trump administration. But nobody ever showed up. They never got any information. They were just doing it as a political stunt. Mm. Every subpoena that I've signed as chairman of the House Oversight Committee over the last five months, we've gotten 100% of what we've requested, whether it's with the FBI or with banks or with Treasury. So we're, we have built up success that will lead to more success because now what we're subpoenaing is, is a lot more challenging. And you've done it publicly and transparently, which has put even more pressure yeah. on them. Unlike no a one's done special before. counsel, That's right. we've been public and transparent with the media on what we're doing. As the bank accounts mount up, and you may or may not get the telephone tapes and so forth and so on, um, you're creating a pretty strong case uh, that Vice President Biden, is, I know it's, I, these are allegations, I know that, uh, but you're still looking like a pretty strong case. Um, Influence peddling, pay for play, bribery with a foreign national, et cetera, et cetera. My last question is um, Does this lead to an impeachment of Mr. Biden? You know, some people are talking about impeach impeaching Attorney General Garland. Mm -hmm. My view, simplistically, is don't go for the small fish, no. go for the big fish. But what do you think, James Comer? Well, you know, there's two things happening now with respect to this investigation there's the crime, which is the Biden uh, influence peddling. Mm -hmm. And potential bribery. Mm -hmm. Then there's the cover up. So Merrick Garland's front and center in the cover up, oh, cover up, and Joe Biden's front and center in the crime. Mm. So if if the if I were Joe Biden, I would be explaining what my family did to receive the ten million dollars we've already unearthed. Mm. So between now and the next ten million dollars we unearth through these bank statements, I would be coming up with a with a pretty rock solid excuse as to what my family did. To receive this money because no one on the planet has an explanation for why his family's received all these transactions from Romania, from China, from Ukraine, from Russia. For what services? We have no idea. What services? They will not answer it. I guess. They you. act like it never happened. Yeah. We have bank statements. This isn't an Adam Schiff investigation. Right. We actually have evidence. This is not a phony campaign right. concoction from Hillary Clinton. Right. These are actual checks and bank records Absolutely. from the U.S. Treasury yep. Department. That's and, a different and the ball biggest game. banks I gotta in America. Yeah. You are. You're doing the Lord's work. Thank you. I wish you all the luck in the world. And we thank you for once again helping us to walk through this. Thanks for having me. You're a prince, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it.